welcome to today's video. Today we are in Omaha, Nebraska at Dillon Brothers Harley Davidson. We are on our tour to visit 120 select Harley Davidson dealerships across America, raising money for the Wounded Warrior Project. We are a little less than halfway through the dealerships, a little bit more than halfway through the days. I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling refreshed. We've had a couple weeks with slower stops, but now we are headed east and the stops start to turn up. Multiple stops a day, every single day, from now until July 14th, where we end at Ukes Harley-Davidson, uh, just south of the anniversary party Harley-Davidson's throwing in Milwaukee. So we'll ride from Ukes up to the Milwaukee Harley-Davidson Museum. And from there, we will celebrate Harley-Davidson's 120th birthday. Here with my boy, Self Made. You are on quite a journey yourself. You're like 5,000 miles in, right? Yes, sir. Where, where are you headed? Where, where'd you go? Um, right now I'm going to Iowa next, and then I'm gonna shoot up to Minneapolis, but I came from Washington State, Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, man, Washington's got some beautiful riding. Yeah. Nice, beautiful Absolutely. scenery, hell yeah. We're gonna find you in Milwaukee for the anniversary party? Hopefully I can make it in time. All right, man, All right. we'll see you all Steve Ferreira, Des Moines, Iowa. Took us about two and a half, three hours to get here. And you did it on your? Uh, 21 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Yeah, baby. Right on. Got my boy Dirk here riding a Pan America. Yeah, what baby. color? Black. A black Pan America. How many hours did you ride in? Five hours. Five hours on the Pan America. Yep. And after five hours on that bike, what's your opinion? Is it a good road trip bike, long distance? Oh, yeah. No, it's good. Comfortable, it's comfortable. for you? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. I'm thinking about getting a Pan America and doing some international stuff on yeah. it. You recommend it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Ah, you good puppy. Yeah, you got some fancy boots. Look at Cash's boots. So this dealership, what's up, man? Actually has, how about it, guys? Actually has a bar in it, a full bar back there. This is not the first dealership I've seen with a full bar, but there are not many of them out there. Lunch stop. And this place I've been to before, and it's really kind of a cool joint a lot of people don't know about. It's called the Quaker Steak and Lube, and it's a gearhead's heaven of a restaurant. Fred. How many miles you got on that fat boy now? 8,700 and so on. We're getting close to nine. Good job, man. So we've got 13 bikers that are hungry, ready to eat. <laughs> this is uh, the type of stuff this place has. Go-karts on the ceiling. Oh, look at that bad boy. That's wicked cool. Old Indians crashing through the glass and motorcycles hanging from the ceiling everywhere. Look at this, race cars. You guys eat some of them. We raised $2,090 today at our dealership stop. Now we're a little bit behind our schedule as far as raising the half a million dollars because we're at like stop 57 of 120 and I think we're at like $127,000. And the good news is, as you can see in this map, the east side of the country, the dealerships are much closer together. The weather's gonna be a little bit better. We're hoping for a bigger turnout. So please give this video a share, share our message. Let people know we are coming to the east coast. I will say one big shout out goes to my boy, Teddy Morse. He owns several Harley Davidson dealerships. I didn't even visit on this tour, but yet he contributed. He owns Cowboy of Austin, San Antonio and Beaumont and Teddy Morris's Grand Junction. This man went online and donated $5,000 towards the cause, uh, even though the convoy never even hit one of his stores. So Teddy, you're a super rad dude. I got to shake your hand and meet you in person. I hope we can do some stuff in the future and y'all uh, give Teddy some love out there because he definitely put in uh, an effort to help us reach our goal here for the Wounded Warrior Project. <laughs> 